Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture we're beginning our project of object detection with Swift Playgrounds and the YOLO v3 machine learning model. Our first step is to build a new Xcode project because we have to get a compiled version of our machine learning model. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. So here I am in Xcode. I'm going to press Create New Xcode Project. The platform is going to be iOS and the application a regular app. Then we can hit next and choose a product name. I'll call this our app for model. Make sure the interface is SwiftUI and language Swift. Then you can press next and the application will be created for you. You do have to choose a location of where you want to save your project folder. Then press create and the project folder will be created at that location. Okay, so here our project is being created. This is just a regular iOS application. Now we need to go to the website of developer.apple.com slash machine learning slash models to grab the model we'll be using for this project. You can also find it in the source files of this section at the end of the section. So here we have a bunch of CoreML models. We are going to be using the YOLO v3 model for object detection right here. For locating and classifying 80 different types of objects present in a camera frame or image. You can press view models and sample and you want to download this top one, the YOLO v3 ML model. You can also just grab it from the source files for this section. Now we have to compile this model to be able to use it in playgrounds. So in order to compile a model, we're going to go into Xcode and we're going to drag the model from our folder right into our project. Now here we are going to copy the item if needed, create folder references and make sure that you add the file to the target that is the correct app. Then press finish and now you'll have YOLO v3 as the model listed under your app for model. Now, if we want to compile the model to get a compiled version, then we have to build the application. So here I'm going to hit run to run the app. Okay, that is also going to build it first and then run it. Okay, so once the app is built, then we'll have a built version, a compiled version of this YOLO v3 model here. Okay, so let's just wait for the application to build and then we can grab the model. Okay, now it says our application is running, which means it has successfully been built, which means we can grab the compiled version of our YOLO v3 model. I've also included the compiled version for you at the end of this section in the source files. Now, to get the compiled version, you want to go into your finder and go into your library folder. This folder is hidden, so you can access it by searching for it directly or by unhiding it permanently. Inside of the library, you want to go into the developer subfolder where you'll have an Xcode folder. There you want to go into derived data and then select your application name that we just created. Now this derived data folder, it stores folders that are created whenever you build your application. So here, whenever we build app for model, the folder gets updated. So here inside of that, we have a build folder where you want to go into products and then debug iPhone simulator where you'll have your app for model. So that is a package that you want to then expand. So you're going to click on app for model, right click and select show package contents. Here you can see we have a compiled version of YOLO v3. So it's no longer an ML model file type. It's actually an ML model compiled file type because it has a C there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.